Hello there. So as you can see on your screen, I am a big fan of clones. And one thing that Lego still hasn't hit the nail on the head with is the Karmas and Pauldrons. Now, I've already done a video where I 3D printed some Karmas, but I won't be going over that too much because I've introduced some new materials even outside of 3D printing and made some more clone Karmas that I think definitely top the last video so we will be taking a look at them in a second but before we take a look on the desk please do drop a like if you end up enjoying the video and subscribe for more awesome star wars content especially in the month of may not only do we have all the releases that have just been announced but i'm also working on a massive mark and there will be a video coming at the end of the week about that so I do hope you enjoy, and now let's take a look at these new Karmas. So up first, just to show you in case you haven't seen the last video, this is my original 3D printed Karmas. They're not my design, the link is in the last video, so I'll probably copy the link over to this description. But as you can see, green is really not the clone's colour. So for my Bad Batch V-Wing mock, I did actually colour the pauldron for Wilco in with a whiteboard pen. You can see I had also done it to the rest of the pieces, and it's not faring up too well. I mean, it's definitely coming off. And if you're whacking this in some sort of storage rather than out on display, most of that whiteboard pen would probably have disappeared by now. So what I have done regarding this before we get to the new materials is I've actually given it a coat of paint. And this is just the average black acrylic paint. And it's looking very, very cool. It's looking much neater than the whiteboard marker, that's for sure. You can see the green part still showing where the pen's either been wiped off or where I've missed a spot there on the top of the Karma. But this does look really, really clean. And honestly, I do have to say this is probably my favourite. It comes close to this and the last one I'll be showing you. So stay tuned to the end of the video to not miss out on that. But I've also been experimenting with 3D printing some new materials. So... This is what PETG looks like. It's a strand of plastic, very similar to what's used in plastic bottles. And you can see it's definitely not as neat as PLA. I'm not sure how this will come across on camera, but it's definitely not meant for smooth prints like this PLA over here. But to be fair, if I coated this with the same paint, it'd definitely look a lot smoother. And it's definitely closer to Lego's ABS than PLA. There's a bit more give. It doesn't just crack, it does bend a little bit. So this might be better for playing with such as with Lego figures. So if I could get a cross between the two of these, perhaps I can paint some PETG for my next wave of Karmas and take a look at how that looks. But of course, that is not the only one because we also have Lego's official cloth piece, which I have tried to mimic. And I think I've got much closer than last time. So at the start, We've got this control clone and perhaps it'll be better to see from above. No karma on this first minifigure and it's just a plain 212. But the next one has Lego's official and you can compare that to my paper variant on the right of that. It's close, but it's not quite even. Lego's is definitely a bit more accurate. Then I 3D printed it and once again, I tried to color in the 3D printed version with a whiteboard marker, but right at the end, I think I've come pretty close. I took one of my old t-shirts that I wasn't gonna wear anymore and traced Lego's official, well actually I traced the one that I printed off with exact dimensions into that t-shirt and cut out a section, which you can see from this patch here. I just traced the outline of the Karma, cut it out, poked some holes for the middle and honestly, I think it looks the most realistic out of the bunch. It's definitely a much cheaper Karma than trying to purchase Lego ones for all of your clones. And especially if you're growing a grand army of the Republic, if you have an old black top, that would be perfect. I don't really have any black tops, so blue is the closest I can get. And you can see there's a bit of whiteboard pen even on the side of that, but you can even color in your tops, I guess, and make it look the same. So I'll have to try and find some sort of black material that comes close to it, but if you can find a cheap black top and you know how to trace and cut, then I'm sure this will be the easiest one. Just be careful not to color in or cut the official Lego one, because as I said, they are expensive and I'm sure you'll want to put that on one of your leading clones. So I definitely think we're improving here. We're getting closer to the official Lego version, but 
we're also improving upon that and taking the next step to get it more accurate and get some actual cloth materials here rather than the acrylic coated cloth that Lego use. So I really do like this, but personally my favorite is the 3D molded one. And I'm pretty sure you agreed on the fan vote from the last video I did, but I still think these can be improved because when I was printing in PETG, the first few batches didn't necessarily go as well as I would have hoped. And in fact, I got so close to having a completed print and then one of the karmas got knocked off and just ruined any chance of it finishing the print. But I actually think that this looks pretty close to an official karma. You see, the Lego molded ones, these are based on the height of the old ones that came out 15 odd years ago. And they are a bit too long. They do go over the kneecaps of the clones. But this print here that didn't quite finish is a bit closer to the official print on the actual legs of the clones. You can see I've got this one here just to show it off and perhaps I can grab the painted trooper to compare the two. This one on the left is too long. This one on the right is probably even too short and this one in the middle is the perfect length. So perhaps I can adjust this to come up a little bit, bring it closer to that. And the reason I prefer this to the other one, which honestly definitely looks a bit better, is because not only the nostalgia, it's probably mainly the nostalgia for me, but it's also closer to the vertical print that Lego print on their clone troopers. So I will leave another poll in the community between the painted ones, which I think is definitely smoother than just having the plain plastic. You can't even see the lines of the plastic on the outside. The PETG, which I guess will only be popular amongst people who know a little bit about 3D printing because it definitely feels the best and has a bit more of that Lego feature. It's a bit squishy, but not too much that it's just gonna squish on your figures. And then I'll also leave the cloth version on that pole. Which one do you prefer? Would you prefer to have an army of cloth clone troopers? And yep, that is a 3D printed cape, but there is a reason I don't go over it in this video. It really just doesn't work as well. Perhaps I'll revisit it in a future video, but a top tip for custom characters, don't 3D print your capes. Or would you prefer to have the more sleek looking plastic design? So head over to my community tab, let me know in that poll. And I hope you're enjoying these videos. I am definitely enjoying printing all these parts and I definitely have enough to go around my clones. So hopefully you can see a few of these featured in the intros of future videos. And if you do enjoy, definitely like because it just encourages me to print more. So I hope you enjoyed and may the bricks be with you always.